it's raining. Welcome back. Yeah, it's not Amiga, don't worry. It's nothing retro. The present. Yeah. Joan. Alan. Whoop, whoop. Detector. Whoop, whoop. So I'm looking forward to opening that, which we'll do on camera. Yeah. Nice opening. Anyway, a um, few clips here. I haven't been out since these clips, which were Monday, last Monday, because of the rain. Because it's done nothing but chuck it down. <laughs> so, yeah. So I haven't been out much, so a few clips here. I can't remember how many. But, anyway. And after that, we'll come back and play. open that. For those who are interested, obviously. I might do um, a video because me and um, PlayStation is a bit iffy. So I might do a repair video on that one day. Uh, I've got a Mega Drive which needs a bit of attention. But whether I do or not, it's a different matter. I'm going to fix them, but whether I do it on camera. Anyway, enjoy the clips. And I'll see you back here after that. And then we'll do a uh, unboxing. Enjoy. Right, this is an 82. Deep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Don't need a pointer for that. There it is. <laughs> oh. Focus camera. Oh. Yeah. It's a copper. A half penny of some sort. Yeah. It's a bit smooth. Let's go wash it off and see if we can get a bust. I think the bust is there. Yeah, nothing. Smooth as a baby's bum. Yeah, not bad though. First signal. I've literally just walked in through there. <laughs> so what? 15 feet. Very first signal. Uh, focus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nothing. No up. Right. Second signal. Literally 20 paces from the last one. There it is. It's a button. Get in. Let's move into the sun. Yeah. That's a full shank. Any detail? No. Yeah. Smooth pewter. Yeah. It's a button. Huh? Two signals. Two items. Right, this is out, so... Let's turn the Bluetooth off, so you can hear. Oh yeah. 82. Another half penny, maybe. Oh. There you go. Let's have a look. What's up? That club. No. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, button of coin. Don't be a shank. Don't be a shank. It's. No. Oh, it's a coin. Like an air horse. Is it a coin? Let me get some water on that. Yeah. It's a coin of um, nothingness. Whacked by a plough. Yeah, it's just the way it's going to be. They're all going to be smooth. Great. Still, it's copper. 
think the horsey woman's a bit intrigued and wanting to, and she keeps riding up and down. <laughs> right, let's, uh, ooh, let's get into the sun. Can you see it? Focus camera. Focus, focus. Is it the camera on my eyes? Or whatever. But no coin. But no coin. Uh. Ooh. We have a coin. Hmm. A coin of nothing? Something? Shut up, my scene. Chit chat ran away. There's something there. Let me um let's have a ow. I think she's coming back. She's really curious about metal detecting. <laughs> Rich people. Weirdos. Yeah. Yeah. What are you? Little friend. Hmm. Quick gentle pipe rub, because it's a copper, it's not a silver, so we're alright there. Yeah, it's a bit cruddy, I can't. Let's give it another spray. Let's give it another spray. Just a happy spray. Oh, or not. Work. Yeah. Oh, missed. Quest, nobody's listening to you. Shut up. Well, I am listening to you, but only when you find signals. Yeah, this is a bit... There's something on there, but... What? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. That's another one for when I get home. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Is the camera gonna pick it up? There. That's my first chrono bell. Get in. Yeah, come to daddy. <sighs> Shouldn't do this without gloves on, by the way. I just take them off so it's easier to op ow. operate the phone. Move, rock. Oh, it's moving. Oh. Oh. Oh, why are you not whole? Oh, oh, uh, well, I nearly had my first crowder bell ever. Uh, yeah, it's just a piece of it. Oh, oh poop. Well. A piece of crow bell. These are bells that they used to wear around cattle and sheep. They come in loads of different sizes. This one's about a four ish. Yeah, oh, it's got a pattern on it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, part of one's better than not a one. Mm. Yeah. Oh well. Right. So that there is where I've come in. I've just come down, straight down this one line. What, 20 minutes? It's taking me longer to record stuff. This is a dream hunt. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Ew. Oh. Yeah, that's just the... Uh, 50p yeah ignore the uh, dream hunt i just said i'll don't worry i'll edit it out Arrgh! and five feet from my last hole yeah oh i've lost it now oh there it is boop coin oh no pewter button Hill, it's a find. God, I like this feel. This is um, 
first time I've been on this one. I've never had time to go on it, but yeah, I've got time today. Yeah. This should be a good hunt. Right. <laughs> That's one line done. But I'm going to have to stop recording these. This is another button. Right there. <clears throat> yeah, it's a different type. It's still a pewter, but... Yeah. Got any details? Nope. Uh, nothing. Yeah. Unless a really fantastic button comes up. I'm going to stop recording these, because... I might be here a while. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know I said I'm not filming buttons unless something interesting comes up. But that's something interesting. Well, to me it is. Let me get rid of Rubbity Tub Tub. Yeah. Rub that button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got the uh, fleur de lis on it that you find on a two pence piece. Let me just pants rub it gently. Yeah, a little bit of silver gilding. Oh, we've got some writing on the back. Yeah. I'll investigate that one again. That's heavy. It's only silver golden, I think you can see that by just see copper coming through there. Hmm. Yeah, nice. So anyway, I'm not gonna record the buttons. And this is something interesting. And then an interesting button comes up. So I'm not gonna record anything unless a gold coin comes up. Ooh. Yeah. Not a gold coin. Yeah. It's a pot foot. It's under a cast iron pot or a bronze pot. Little foot like that. Me. Be a big bowl pot type thing. Witch's cauldron, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it'll do. Yeah, I know it's another button, but that's a big dandy. Look at that. Is it focused? Yeah. Look at the size of that. Oh. <laughs> Shiny. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a nice dandy. Very nice. Yeah. Sweet. Well, I had a problem finding that one. Hmm. Be a rosy, rose farthing. Yeah. Let's get a bit of water on it. Yeah. So, button field. Buttons come up amazing. Yeah, the coins, not so much. Uh, I think that's a five pence piece. Yeah, no, whatever. Some poor mouse is walking around with heat stroke by now. He lost his hat. Yeah. Poor guy. That's a small button. <laughs> oh yeah. We've got a coin or button. Coin or button. Yeah, button. Yep, button. Bit of gold gilt. Yeah. Hang with that theory about not showing you any more buttons, eh? I ain't got far. Yeah. We're about two hours in. 
Ja, øhm, ja. Ja. Så er der noget om, det? Ja, I call that bottom field. Yeah. I went on the other field in the mornings before I went there. Night hawker. For those who don't know the tech, night hawkers. Night hawkers, pretty much scumbags, basically. There's no other word to explain them. They um, because they can't get permissions, because they probably look a bit up here. They um, wait till night time. And then go on to other people's permissions. Yeah. Illegally detect and try and steal everything. The best bit is there's no point coming to my field and trying to illegally detect nine talkers. That's one of them like, I clearly found out. He'd done about ten holes and then stopped. So, and I don't know exactly why he did it. <laughs> my fields are all contaminated. The farmers spread them with green waste. Green waste is there from restaurants and marquees and like horse racing and all the food. It's chucked into big bits and it's mashed up and sold to our farmers. But for green waste, like fertilizer, but natural. Yeah. We call it green waste. <coughs> the problem with that is waitresses and waiters and bar staff, you don't own the companies, not really that bothered about the knives and forks. So they just emptied the plate, and half the time knives and forks go in there, and coke cans and everything. They're not really that bothered because it's not their business. They get paid monkeys' wages, so they're gonna act like monkeys. And the farmer ended up spraying it all over the field, so it's just contaminated with aluminium and cans and all sorts. So it's hard work, real hard work. Like I said when in the previous video, thirty holes, eight were good. The other 22, Jesus, the other 22 holes were just aluminium. So, <laughs> bits of knives and forks and cans and, <laughs> yeah, there's no point night hawking on my field, you scumbag. Yeah. Oh, the uh, half penny at the beginning turned out to be George the second half penny. Whoop, whoop. I don't know if you can see. I don't, yeah, I don't know why I'm showing you because this camera's poop. Yeah. George the second. That was alright. Anyway, to the unboxing. This is my backup machine. And some of you might think, oh, wow, stop this thing. Hang on. Manly and rapid. There you go. Ta da! Equinox 800. Yeah. Now it's twice the price of what the uh, Quest was. But the Quest is going to be my main machine. Because with the Quest, I know what I had the back of my hand. <coughs> I know him. Um, Jamie off of Treasure Rangers, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, somebody else I follow, can't remember. Anyway, Treasure Rangers on uh, YouTube. Uh, save, Treasure Rangers Saving History. It's Rachel and Jamie. Uh, and they've got a Facebook group as well. I can't remember what that name is. But there's a downer with this. Oh, it's not a diamond with this, I'm just finding out there's so, um, put that paper right there. Let me put this on the floor. Oh actually you can put it on the floor, can I could it's not in the box in the um, let's get the coil. Yeah. That's a big coil. It's an eleven inch oh, screen protectors. <laughs> it's be about fifty, isn't it? Yeah, there is, for those who haven't and don't know. It looks like that, you put your arm through it. You put your arm through it. 
the strap on. Just balance it. If you balance it right, it'll push up against your arm. And then you've got a handle there, so you don't really need it strapped on. And plus, every time you get a signal, you have to take your hand and like, yeah, can't be bombed. So that's why I don't use them. <laughs> nice case. I might use that for my headset. <laughs> Charging cables. Is it not got an indication like either? No. Well, the bloody hell are you supposed to know if they're on or not? So mine are nice and thin. I'm not holding them very well, are they? These look like Princess Leia head buns. It's not going to last long. It's plastic, the whole thing, even the thread. Yeah. Oh, that's not good sound for plastic. I have to replace that with a metal piece. And it's clock plastic. heavier than the Quest. Not a huge amount, but I'd say about a pound heavier. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do we switch it on? That one? That'll be another then. That one. Stop shouting at the screen with the instructions. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I won. One of them's got to be power button. Is there a switch? Intelligent goggles. Ah, found it. <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit the one with the power symbol at the top. <laughs> Helps when you put these on. Push it in. Boop. <laughs> Sounds like a movement on crack. <laughs> I think it sounded a bit funny on um, YouTube, but <laughs> not that funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh. Well, that was a nightmare. I've done it. <laughs> don't need that. Don't know why they give you that. <laughs> yeah, don't need that Bluetooth box. These are these are Bluetooth. What's over this? Fourteen. The instructions don't tell you that. I had to Google it. So yeah. So now the uh, work. Well, you can't hear it, but I can. Yeah. That's then paired. I was trying to pair them, but then I remembered if I pair them to this, every time I want to use the Quest, I've got to pair it to the Quest, and then pair it back to this, so, because this is my backup, I'll just pair it to the headphones and come and see. But, next hunt, I'll go out and I'll take it with me. I'm taking a Quest with me as well, just in case. <laughs> I mean, people swear by this thing. Yeah. We'll see. It's not the machine, it's the user. Tools. It's not the tools, it's the user. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I'm bash anyway. That's what it's like. <sighs> now I've just got to go through all the settings and figure it out. And set it up the way I like it, with discriminations. Because when I go out detecting, I always have iron just off. So I don't detect iron. But it detect it, it'll show me the numbers up there on screen, but it won't give me the beeps from it. Then after half the day, 
I haven't got anything worth looking at. Then I'll turn the um, iron discrimination off, so it'll detect the iron as well. And I can get some horseshoes. Whoopee. Yeah, so that's it. That's my uh, third machine now. Yeah, I've got my old one, which is a simplex with a. Uh, yeah, there's no screen on it. It's just a big box and a big speaker and loads of dials. Yeah, and a massive sealed up coil. It's an ugly thing. <laughs> yeah. It takes about 50 uh, AAA batteries <laughs> and they don't last long. And, yeah. That's why I got that. Because when I was coming back to detect, I thought, well, can't I use that? Everybody's got all fancy ones and it looks ugly. So. All right, I'm going to have to tidy up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That's a little hunt. I should be going out this week because the rain's finally stopped. The sun's coming out, so I can get out. But I'm tired as well, so yeah, could cancel my tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Not really, because that's what's paid for this. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Me faffing about with this and all. Uh, I'll let you know how I get on next week. Cheers. See ya. Yeah.